What are you talking about? Ralph Macchio is an amazing fighter. Duh! Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be going over a personal pet peeve of mine and something that you might have noticed as well. Do the actors in martial art movies actually know martial arts? <gasps> Back in the day, they used to take martial arts and make them actors. Now they take actors and make them martial artists. What's the difference? Why would that make a difference? Why does that matter? Well, back in the day, they would take these martial artists, put them into movies. Sometimes that worked. Sometimes it didn't. Sometimes you'd have a great performance from a martial artist, and it was fairly convincing. And then some, eh, kind of rough. It's all right. But no matter what the scenario, they had the chops to back it up. So if they needed to do a certain move or do a fight scene, it looked convincing because it was because they knew what they were doing. So the probably the most famous version of that is Bloodsport with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And during the original cut of the movie, the director had it chopped up. So all these fight scenes had all these different angles, and it was chopping between different scenes. And it's more like what we'd be used to today, where they cut a lot of scenes to, you know, they, they throw the punch, and before the punch lands, it just kind of shows the other person, go, uh, you know, and to give the illusion of the fight versus showing the actual skill of the fighter. And a lot of that's to, in my opinion, hide the lack of skill. Well, Van Damme didn't have that, so why on earth would they do that? Yeah. Some of that's inexperience and not understanding what they were looking at. So the actual final product that you see is actually partially due to Van Damme because he helped edit it and make it the way we know it today, where it shows these long fight scenes without cutting a hundred times for three seconds worth of fight. So because they had the ability, Van Damme in this instance, they didn't have to fake anything. He was a great martial artist. If you like him as an actor, that's up to you. But the reality is, they took a real martial artist for the movie. Now, more often than not, you get an actor who's never done anything in martial art-wise, and they go, ta-da, you're, you're now a martial artist, or you're now this person who's got special training for 30 years, and go. And what they do is they put them in a camp for a month and go, you're good, go ahead and do that scene. And for the average person, that probably works. The average person looks at it and goes, wow, look at that. Awesome fight scene. Well, that's because they have great choreographers and people that actually sit down and think about the scene and, and whoa, man, this is going to be cool if he does X, Y, Z. And then the actor just trains that move. But to anyone who's ever trained, some of this is pretty obvious that the person, the actor, the actress doesn't know a single thing about what they're doing. They got shown the day before on set and went, go. And I love Cobra Kai. This is, this all trails. Stay with me. I like Cobra Kai. I like the series and it does great. Ralph Macchio is not a fighter. He's never trained. To my knowledge, even in interviews he's given, the only karate training or martial arts training he's ever had was on the set, was when they pulled him off to go over moose for the movies. And I do a cold reading with him. Well, not a cold reading. I did have the, the script, but it wasn't rehearsed uh, outside of preparing. And, um, and he said to me at the end of it, he goes, um, I would uh, maybe pick up uh, some martial arts lesson or start taking karate, but... And I'm sure now for the TV show. And it's ridiculous. For example, I, I mean, everybody talks about the Kata and his... <sighs> Sanshin is not performed the way they perform it in the show and movies. And someone asked for cinematic effect, but the reality is, is he sucks. I'm sorry. It, I'm, I like the movies. They're amazing. I like the show. He doesn't know martial arts. And you can blatantly tell, especially if you know that Kata. That's not the one that makes me mad. From this series, so I can give you a very pointed, I'll show it in a second, but they have a scene where Ralph Macchio does a turning or spinning crescent kick. 
and knocks a T out of the guy's hand. <sighs> okay, so I'll show it now and we'll talk about it. The reason this bugs me so much is because this is probably the most poorly executed crescent kick that's ever been filmed. Now, I like him as an actor. I think he does well. I think he's done great for the part, so on. Not touching that with a 10-foot pole, but the reality is his martial arts skill has a lot to be desired. So, I don't know, but to me, this is a very big distraction. So, like I said, the average person probably doesn't think twice. They're like, oh, he did a spinning kick and kicked that out of his hand. But you notice in the, the, the cut, there's multiple cuts just for that one kick. They didn't do a wide angle and show him go from completely back turned, spin to the crescent kick and knock it out of his hand. It's like three or four cuts. And it shows. Also, the kick is, 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 is poorly done. It's just not good. I'm sorry. I mean, not to talk trash. I don't want to be that guy, but the reality is it's just not done well. Now, this is a trend that a lot of movies and TV shows have done, especially in the last 15, 20 years. They have went away from getting martial artists to act to getting actors to do martial arts. And the biggest trope is they get a gymnast. They think, oh, they can do flips and you know all this stuff. Just add a kick in there and they're done. No, that's not how that works. But I digress. So what they do is they show them a few things and they kind of let them, they get them to stretch every day and then they can do all these things. But their technique's garbage. They don't do things right. And especially when they're supposed to be like a master or what have you, someone very advanced and skilled. And like in this show, the Karate Kid or Cobra Kai, Daniel Russo is a black belt who's been a black belt for 30 years, however long it's been. He's trained other people, like, and he's still doing technique like this. So if it was a real sensei, a real karate school, no one would stay because he's not skilled enough to, for the students. But the movie shows it, and everybody goes, oh, okay, because they don't know better. This is a distraction to me. And I'm actually curious, if you're a martial artist or not, please let me know in the comments below if this is something that you noticed, if it looked weird to you, or if you're like, ah, Scott, you're being overcritical. It's just a show. Enjoy it. It is a show, and I do enjoy it. But these are distractions. And I look at them, and I'm like, no! But reality is, you can definitely tell they've never trained. So their skills are very, very limited. And ironically, that doesn't bother me a whole lot. But when it's so egregious, it, it does. And also, when there's so many great martial artists out there that are good actors, and they don't cast them, but they cast a regular martial art, or, uh, pardon me, a regular actor or actress to play it. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, you went from Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, Van Damme, you know, all the way to Jackie Chan, Jet Li. Like, you have all these martial artists who can obviously act. Uh, Scott Atkins, another one. You have all these people that are just great. Michael J. White. All these martial artists. Martial artists first, then actors. And they do great at both, right? They're great martial artists. And in my opinion, most of these are great actors. You know, they, they do very well. They're very convincing in the roles. They do great. But what they do is they go get an actor who might or might not be great. That's depending on the movie and the actor. And then they go, here's some karate. Go get them, Tiger. And then all of a sudden, that's what the movie or movie moves that you got in the movie. And it's just, it's very distracting. So what do we do about this? <laughs> Come on, people. Give me some suggestions. Nothing crazy here. I just wanted to rant because this is something I notice a lot. And after rewatching the Cobra Kai season two again, I'm looking at it and I'm starting to really hone in on why certain things in these shows and movies bother me so. And in that one scene... And then it just lightning struck my brain. Lightning has just struck my brain. And I was like, aha, that's why it bothers me. It's because their technique is so poor because they're obviously not a martial artist. Now, this is not a martial artist that just does a different type of technique. You know, instead of, you know, let's say a sidekick where they keep their hands up, they do a sidekick where they put their hand out or something. And I'm like, ah, oh, you shouldn't do that. That's not that. 
you can tell they just never done martial arts. Not enough to worry about anyway, so they're still white belt level, as it were. And that's a problem because they're trying to be, like in Cobra Kai's case, an experienced black belt. It's a hard pill to swallow. So this is just my two cents. This is what I've been thinking about and going, why is this bothering me so? That'd be why. Because their technique isn't good. But what do you think? Have you got any good crazy thoughts on this? Do you have any examples of where you're like, this is obviously someone who doesn't know how to do martial arts or how to do that particular move? Or If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell on the way out. And remember, the more you train, easier to fight.